Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out Wildfire. Uh, this is a game I've been interested in for a while. Um, it's an indie title, uh, published by Humble Bundle. Um, basically it's a 2D stealth game with a focus on elemental interactions. By which I mean like classical elements, like fire, water, that kind of thing. Um, not actual elements, which are a completely different set of things. <laughs> But yeah, that's why it's called Wildfire. It's a 2D stealth game, like, you can start fires to distract your opponents, that kind of thing. Uh, I believe that's the idea, anyway. I haven't played it. Um, I've seen a few screenshots. Um, I was really interested. Like, I've had it on my uh, list of things to check out for a couple months, and I think it just recently arrived on the Switch, so let's have a look. It, w it was available on Humble Bundle, like, as a, um, I think, just Windows version, but... Yeah, I prefer recording Switch versions of stuff, so... Sneaky bastards. <laughs> and yeah, published by Humble... Humble Games now. I guess they changed their publishing label? Wildfire. So there's uh, some gorgeous pixel art for you. Uh, I believe the whole game is in like a pixely sort of, sort of look, so... That's fitting. Uh, let's look at the options first. Gameplay, uh... Oh, hello, you can make it much, much harder. Fall damage, speed run timer. Yeah, I'll have a look at the timer, but I won't worry too much about it. Harder cop revives. Might be a partner either where they lie or by reaching a checkpoint. Advanced enemy patrols, unloading to climb walls around the world. So yeah, these gameplay options, you can make the difficulty much, much higher just by tweaking these. That's interesting. Uh, controls, accessibility mode. Play with one hand? That's handy. Auto jump when sprinting? You yeah, know, no, I'll leave those the way they are. But yeah, these look like accessible options for the most part. So that's nice. Uh, you can turn off vibration. This game does have co-op. I uh, probably won't be able to test, test that out, but we'll see how we do. Uh, let's put on colorblind mode and see what that looks like. Oh, it's a red-green colorblind filter. It's not, it's not like showing the color information on the screen, so I might switch that off just so it looks normal to me. <laughs> is that weird? I don't know. But yeah, there's lots of ways to toggle this stuff, which is going to help out if you have uh, various kinds of visual disability, I suppose. Uh, turning off screen shake, that kind of thing. There are a lot of options here. Language, short languages to support lots. You got, you got English, you got Deutsch. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the of that language. Is it is it Mandarin? I'm not sure. Um, Espanol, Nihongo. I, I can pronounce some of these. <laughs> but yeah, lots of language options. That's nice. It looks like they've put a lot of thought into accessibility here because there's a lot of options in there that seem to be related to that sort of thing. Uh, so we're just gonna go new game. It looks like you have three save slots. Do I to play Wildfire in single player or in two player local co-op? Co-op requires a second controller. Well, it's only one of me here. Um, I'd like to try the co-op maybe later on, but for the moment I'm going to play single player. Uh, it's very cool that there is a local co-op mode. I don't know if it lets you jump in mid-game. Hey, you, wake up! Ah, you're with us again. Good. There's a test I need to perform. Don't worry, if you fail, you'll be free to go. All you need to do is stay right where you are. Burn. Oh, wow. Uh, can I do anything? Burn. Um, Sneaky Bastards presents. Oh, oh no. Wildfire. Okay, so that was just a cutscene, I think. I just died. Prologue, hours earlier. Continue. We've never been this far from the village before. Just stick to the plan, you remember. The plan where I wait here while you go find the VIP and bring them back to me. What? Someone has to watch our escape route. Besides, it's your turn wearing the cape today. Go. Okay, uh, I can move with the left stick. I can also use the D-pad. It looks like they have pretty much the same effect. Doesn't seem to matter how far I tilt it, for example. So, you can play with the D-pad if you want. Jump with the A button. It's got sort of a Oddworld, Prince of Persia styled 
like scripted jump distance. You can't control your jumps in midair. By the looks of things. Hold ZL plus L for sprint. Okay, this is reminding me a lot of Mark of the Ninja, which is a game I've already played as the first thoughts. Uh, and I really enjoyed that, so that's promising. <laughs> uh, we've got some grass. You automatically hide in tall grass. Okay. Uh, we can drop down, like so. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I'm not pressing any buttons right now. You automatically bob to the top. If you hold down, you go down. So... Uh, you automatically float up, though. And yeah, you can see there's an oxygen meter, so watch out for that, I guess. Uh, got some vines here we can climb up. Objective complete. Very important poultry located. <laughs> oh, that's great. Return to Ezra with dinner. Okay. And climb down this rope without too much trouble. Uh, do I need to, like, duck under here? Yeah. Okay, you automatically crawl, as you can see. I'm not pressing, like, a down button or anything. I'm just walking forward. ZR to pick up. Tilts to aim. Oh, okay. I'll just throw... Th oh, no, come back, chicken. <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay. Uh, come here, chicken. You can climb vines while carrying things. Okay. Okay, so I can get back up the vine. Oh, I can use the chicken to float, like in a Zelda. You can't hide while carrying something. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. See, I'm gliding along. Whee! You did it! I mean, we did it. The Harvest Festival is saved. Let's get back home. <laughs> oh. Okay, this village looks familiar. This is from the first opening cutscene, right? Hey, did you hear that? Something fell from the sky. I heard it too. Throw the chicken to me, then go check it out. Okay. No objective. Investigate the meteorite. Uh, I'm checking what the, what the other buttons do. Minus does nothing. Plus opens this menu. Looks like you can enable co-op in the middle of, game, of the game, but it will restart the current level. Uh, I'm guessing reload is like reset the current room. Oh, I see. Checkpoint, restart level, title screen, lots of options. That's nice. Uh, the L and R buttons don't seem to do anything, but maybe they will later. The only button that does anything so far is the A button for jumping, and the ZL button for sprinting and that. Looks like Rag will run off to check it out. You better go chase that sneaky bobcat down. Alright. Oh, that's Rigel. Oh, there's a pet. Oh my gosh, there's a pat button. Hang on, come come back here, Rigel. I need to pat you. <gasps> oh, look at the little love. <laughs> little love heart. <laughs> oh, did I hurt that person? I'm sorry. Sound is shown as a ring. What? Who is that? I'm trying to sleep. Oh, I see. Because when I fell down, my, my, my feet made a big feet noise. My oranges! <laughs> Good, now throw them back in this here crate. Oops, I, I tried. I need to aim it like this. Yeah, you use the right stick to aim. It's a little bit fiddly. All right, you can go on. That, keep that bobcat of yours under control next time. Oh, this is so cute. I'm really enjoying this so far. Boys, don't wander too far, okay? Hello. I don't care what part of the sky. It's Georg. It's Spider's Georg. I saw Rigel run through here. I go after him. We're not supposed to leave the village. I wonder if my character is going to be gendered. Oh, didn't see you there. Cause like I've got like long hair and I've got a cape, but I don't really have any. I have a name as far as I can tell. Maybe my character is just going to be a blank slate. Interesting. Ah. <sighs> Bet you can't make it over here. You bet wrong. Wow, you made it. Don't tell father I snuck out here. Oh. Whoa, Ashen stood so close to the edge. I'm definitely not going in there. Can I, can I go over the top or do I have to go in there?
Yeah, the visual sound thing, it's really similar to Mark of the Ninja, and it worked really well in that game. So I'm looking forward to when the stealthy stuff actually starts. While sprinting, uh, stick down to slide. Oh, I see. So I can get into there. Fun. The, um, fall damage sound effects trick, it's a, that's gonna take a little getting used to. Uh... Can I get up, can I get up this wall? I don't think I can really wall run very well. Yeah, I can't get up there. It's it's got a lot of momentum to it, the jumping around. It it feels very much like a Prince of Persia or Old World style thing. You can land safely and silently on grass. Oh I see. Okay. Which way do I want to go? Um, well, I can't actually reach that second thing, so I guess I want to go this way for now. <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh... I guess I'm going this way. There's a shiny thing. I touched it. Hey, did you hear that? Well, I'm glowing now. That's new. Hide in the grass. It must have landed just up ahead. You think? I'll bet everyone way back at the palace saw where it landed. Ugh, just shut up and stand back while I remove this plank. You can pass by enemies unnoticed while hidden in grass. That was dramatic. <laughs> I guess these guys count as enemies? I just hope the next thing I get to cut down is a witch. Oh, I think I'm a witch now. I think I just, I became a witch when I touched that stone. The hundredth time, there's no such thing as witches. Escape the cave. Alright, here I go. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Uh-oh. These icons show an enemy's state of awareness. Alert and pursuing you alert, but can't see you investigating a disturbance. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to drop down, so I guess I need to sprint and then slide like this. We've got cells for people like you, then I can hide here. Vanished. Foul trickery. Hmm. You think you can hide from me? Okay, uh, I think I'm okay. Looks like they're going the other way. You should be alright. Oh no, more guards. I can smell the smoke from in here. That should flush them all out. Are you just gonna look the other way, or are you gonna turn and look at me? L button to whistle. Aww. This icon shows where enemies think you are. Oh, cool. That's really helpful. There's something similar in Mark of the Ninja. Um, and it works really well in that game, so... Uh, looks like the cave sealed itself when I left. Oh, gosh. I am liking this. Oh, no, my village! Oh, and the grass is burnt, so I can't hide in it anymore. I see. Oh no, the oranges! Everything's been destroyed! Oh no! Ah! Uh -huh. Run! Oh! Oh no! Was I supposed to get past them? Are they dead? Unconscious. I hit them with the blunt side. Good. String them up. Captain will be here any minute. Yeah, I think my character actually uses they, them pronouns. Which is super cool. Hey, you, wake up. Okay, this is where I was. Ah, you're with us again. This is the, this is the intro, yeah. Don't worry, if you fail, you'll be free to go. All you need to do is stay right where you are. Burn. So can I do something this time? Burn. Burn. Can I do something to escape? Or do I just die? Um... It's working! It's working! Oh! It works too well! Retreat! <laughs> New ability. Embrace fire. Summon a fireball to your hands from any nearby source of flames in the environment with the B button. 
Okay. Oh, okay, and then I can throw the fireball. Oh, I like it. Okay. Okay, I see. So I can... Uh, touching wildfires will increase your temperature. If you get too hot, you'll catch on fire. Stay on fire too long, you'll start losing health. Extinguish yourself in water to survive. Okay, I was hoping I could get rid of these fireballs, but it looks like I can't. I seem to... because I guess keep coming back. I seem to run through and into the water. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, then I need to actually, uh, grab that fire and throw it over here. In order to get rid of all this stuff, so that I can get through. Oh, cool. I am very interested in this. Okay, off we go. Burn grass to make enemies panic. Panicking enemies ignore you. Okay, so if I chuck... Do something like this. Yeah, then I can run through the fire and jump over here. And I'll be safe. Oh, I like this game. Okay. Game saved. Oh, I see. We've got a level selector. Forest 1, Eria Plain. Begin. Your home is burning, your fellow villagers captured. You have many questions, but no answers lie behind you. Flee into the unknown forest where enemies can regroup and close in. Continue. Chapter 1, Fire. New objective, reach the exit. Remember the one who first cleverly planned to kindle a spark in the palm of their hand, distracted exactly when things heated up by a well-meaning partner and sweet-scented cup. Some tea, dear? Oh no, look what's happening there. Your nightshirt is burning and so is your hair. The stink was sulfurous, the howling intense, as blankets came smothering to their defence. And later, as both parties bathed in the creek, they pondered the mischief their strange fire might wreak. When learning to set your poor fingers alight, be wary of what you don't mean to ignite. Oh, that was a fun poem. <laughs> Wonder what happened to the Ford Patrol. All that smoke on the horizon doesn't bode well. Sneaky dicky dicky. Make two soldiers panic. Okay, I haven't seen any fire yet, so I can't actually make them panic by doing that. Game design. Daniel Hin Hins... Hindes? Hines? Luke Webster. Environment and terrain art. Well, it is very good art, so... Well done. Character design animation. Martin Boot. Music. Megan O'Neill. The music is sounding pretty good so far, so well done, Megan O'Neill. Sound design. My design. Michael Manning. I don't know these people, but... They seem to be doing a pretty good job. <laughs> Level design. Justin Cavern? Okay, here we go. I can make you panic, right? If I... And you get a bit closer. Like so? Oh no, I'm on fire. Oh. Okay, I can swim over here. And therefore avoid detection, right? Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay, we're doing okay. I don't have any kind of attack so far. I wonder if I'll be able to actually, like, kill enemies or if that's just not a thing you do in this game. Fire effects are really pretty. <laughs> Optional objective, make two soldiers panic, undetected, unachieved, no kills, no save reloads. What are spirit points? I guess I'll find out. My, my oranges. Oh no, your oranges. I noticed the speed run time is gone again, so I guess it's like a per level timer or something like that. And then between the levels, there's other stuff? I don't know. It's a bit complicated. Uh, climb up here. I kind of get the impression I need to be up high. Yeah, I do. So that I can get across here. Okay. And then down. 
Slide through there. Ow! Oh, fall damage. I forgot about that. Um, what do we have here? Open coffin? Huh? Who dares wake me? Oh, it's you. You made it out of the village. Don't tell anyone I was napping on the job. What's that face for? It's pretty cozy in there once you get used to it. What? Everyone has been captured? Even my oranges? Listen, this harvest festival isn't just about eating good chicken. Every generation, someone from the village is chosen. They're spirited away to this ancient site to watch over these monuments. You and Ezra are both looking like top contenders to take over after me. I don't know why, it's just tradition at this point. But those soldiers, that meteorite, maybe it's all connected. Maybe this is what they're looking for. Or maybe it's us. No, it can't be. Nothing ever happens down here. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's never happened before. What does the stone say? Oh, you can actually hop in the coffin yourself. It's a hiding place. Interesting. What does the stone say? New ability, Spirit Link. Your spiritual links to the elements resonate with ancient, resonates with ancient shrines found with throughout the world. These shrines checkpoint your progress in a level and produce fire when touched. Bring fellow villagers to these shrines to rescue them. Okay, so it's a checkpoint and it's also like an exit portal, like in Oddworld. Interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, we can upgrade things. Fireball bounce of a non-flammable surface to ignite objects that might otherwise be out of reach. Oh, so that's what the spirit points are for. I can spend them... I, uh, I've only got three spirit points, so I can't buy that yet. But once I have enough... I see. Okay, I see how it works. So this thing... Incredible. It's true. You have some kind of spiritual link to our ancestors through this stone. I get it now. The Harvest Festival seems to be the anniversary of that meteor's passing. I wonder if that stone was made from the same material as the meteorite that landed. Look, if I know one thing, it's that spiritual guidance from ancestors long past is never free. You should make an offering to give thanks. New objective, activate the statue with an elemental offering. Okay, so this thing's the checkpoint, and I can get some fire out of it, and then I can put that into the statue like so. Fire upgrade point earned. Nice. I see how this works. This is all so much to take in. I'm gonna need a nap. Those soldiers may have big swords, but you've got spirit and the elements on your side. Get out there, stay low, and bring our people back. I'll keep this post warm until you're done. Reach the exit. Leave, then spend your fire upgrade point while on the map. Okay, can I just jump into that gap there? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if I need like an ability to get into small spaces while pulling myself up. Looks like I don't though. Game saved. Unlock the fireball bounce ability to continue. Okay, yeah, I can afford that. Yes. New ability, fireball bounce. Yeah, it, it, it bounces. <laughs> it's pretty clear. Uh, we're gonna want that once we have enough spirit points. It looks like spirit points are rewards for doing optional objectives and stuff like that. Uh, embrace range. Help from farther away. Increase throw distance, throw prediction. Oh, I see. Extra health. We don't want to spoil too much. Begin. <laughs> Fireball bounce. Okay, so we have a shrine over here. We can grab... And now the fireball bounce off that spot. Okay, I see. And now let's just get through the other side. And we can reach this thing. Remember the children who proudly announced they'd made up a game where their fireballs bounced. On route to the barn, all the way to the croft, and oops, soaring up to the hay in the loft. The flammable feed was consumed by the flame. They hung around smoldering, giggling in shame, till dowsers came simmering, quick to condemn, extinguishing most disappointed in them. Who taught you this trick, parents wanted to know. It's simple, but perilous lord of bestow. If tempted to bounce fire and make it a game, trust only the ones with impeccable aim. I really like these little rhymes. <laughs> The unknown forest is crawling with soldiers, but a nearby shrine calls to you. Offer it an element to grow your power, then escape deeper into the woods. Okay. New objective, reach the exit. 
over here an argument. Okay. Uh, I can probably do that. Checkpoint. Uh, come on, you'll be fine. Are you sure? It looks old and rickety. Is this the argument? How do you think I got over here? I don't know. Magic? You're lucky the Archduchess isn't around to hear that. Just get over here. We need to cross patrols. Okay, okay. Here I go. Ah! <clears throat> All clear, Lieutenant. <laughs> yeah. Cute. I mean, I know these are the bad guys, but that was pretty cute. Okay, I can see the place I need to give my offering, which is up there. I assume that wasn't the argument, because it doesn't... New Meteor Shard. Clouded Visage. While holding a smoke bomb, enemies won't visually detect you as quickly. Equip Meteor Shards at checkpoints or on the map. Meteor Shards provide passive buffs and modifiers. Interesting. Uh... Okay, I can't climb up there, that's too high. Need to wait for that, uh, that guard down there to go the other way. And then follow behind. Stay in the grass where I won't be spotted. I think I need to climb that vine and go up, with, go up to the top half. Then I can get over here, and grab the flame, chuck it in there. <sighs> Fire upgrade point earned. Dreary place they've sent us to. Okay, I need another fire now. Can I take that one back, or have I lost it? Pickpocket. Kickstarter locket. Stolen spell shell win riata. Okay. Guess that sounds good. If I go down here, can they not see me? I don't really know how it works. The um, smoke bomb thing I found doesn't really help me yet, because I haven't got any smoke bombs. Oh, did I just kill you? Oh jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't know that's how it worked. Uh, I'm gonna put you over here so you don't get spotted. There we go. <laughs> I, I hadn't realised enemies were subject to fall damage. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Uh, reload. Uh, checkpoint. Forty seconds. Oh, I did. I did get over here an argument. Maybe I did. It, it's ticked off, but I don't know if that means I've done it or if I st still can do it and I just haven't. Um, it's a little vague. Oops. I'm having some trouble. <laughs> oh, I can't crouch while carrying something. I'm gonna actually go this way. Alright. I'm doing real bad. Really bad. Just, just very terrible. Just extremely not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should just restart the whole area. Restart level. <laughs> Having a bit of trouble with this one. Okay. Let's try this again.
Okay, so that's the checkpoint. So was that the argument? I don't know. Okay, then I just gotta wait here. Or I guess I can wait over here, it would be fine too. Yeah, that's close enough. Wait for them to go past, then I grab the fire and burn my way through the exit. Probably want to wait until they're all the way past the fire just in case. Because it's, you know, a big glowy thing. <laughs> ah, no! <sighs> I got detected. Oh, this is random. Okay. I thought it would always be the same one, but I guess it's not. Ah! <laughs> okay, that didn't go super well, but I guess it was a bit better. I got the spirit point for overhearing an argument. Oh, this is hard. This is a hard game. <laughs> I'm having fun, though. I'm having lots of fun. Uh... New elemental power available. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I can buy the Shrine Restoration. I can also buy another bounce of my fireballs. Double jump while holding a fireball to consume it and rock it upwards. Oh, you can do double jump while holding fire. Interesting. And yeah, I want to unlock that as well. Shrine Restoration. Touching an ancient shrine restores you to full health. Next, embrace range. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna need more points to get any of these things, but I'll keep them in mind. The soldier spoke of someone named the Archduchess. She must have been the one behind the attack on your village. More answers must lie ahead. You can only climb your way up this next cliff. Okay, let's see. There's a flame below me. Uh, that might come in handy. Let's, just, let's start scouting. Burn at least 90% of the vegetation. Okay. Uh, the spikes down there. Hmm. <clears throat> What's the latest? Not a pickle. Does it want me to talk to them? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Kind of annoyed that there's a reward for having no save reloads. Like it discourages you from from trying things to a certain extent. Um. Okay. Ah. Okay. Let's bring a fire with us this time. Can I throw it up that high? No, it doesn't reach that high. Okay. I don't know how much vegetation I actually need to burn, like, which bits is not- how much is 90%? Does the bridge count as vegetation? I don't really know. That's right, panic. Ah, no! Oh, that's not- that wasn't a good idea. Oh no! 
My controller's freaking out. Oh, that was a bad idea. Reload. Uh, um, reset level. Let's try another strategy. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is really cool. I like this game. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to jump all the way over to the grass like that. Uh, can I reach? Hang on, let me just see. Okay, you can't actually jump high enough to reach that. Okay. Okay, spikes only do one damage, but then they teleport you back to where you were. Okay. I'm, I'm learning things. I'm learning how this game works. So I was thinking whether it's possible to just jump up to the ledge above where you start. You can see it's up there, but I think it's too high. Uh, in order to burn the vegetation and get through, I need to, like, wait for this to extinguish. Because it's not easy to light myself, to, like, extinguish myself. Like so. And I can grab some flame and jump across here. Like that. <laughs> Those extra rations in your pocket. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. Uh, if I could throw high enough, I could, I could set the bridge on fire, which would be good, but I don't think I can throw far enough for that. Just wait until they turn around. Okay. Okay, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. We can, we can make this work. Oh god, I'm so loud. Uh, run! God, this music is really good. Okay, I can see something up there that I probably want, but I don't think I can reach it just yet. Hmm. Pretty sure, yeah, my, my fire gets extinguished when I actually go through some water. That makes sense. Oh, they had something to pickpocket, and now I can't get it because I've made a fire. Turn around and see the fire. Come on. Come on. Okay, cool. I was not bringing pot. Hey, checkpoint. Cool. I feel like I'm doing things wrong, but I'm having fun, so... Embraced and thrown fire is no longer visible to enemies. Interesting. Oh no. 
Uh, switch. Oh, you guys are here. All right. Uh, you've got something I want. What have you got? Anton Z Buddy Kitty. All right. Oops. Uh, that did not do at all what I had in mind. <laughs> uh, let's just go back to the checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so here what we want to do is climb down here and burn that door. Then we can embrace the flame. There we go. We need to get it back. And then we can put it into the pot. To get a fire point. 90% of the vegetation. Jeez. That's a lot of veggies. <laughs> I don't know how close I am. It'd be nice to have like a percentage indicator. Okay, okay, so it's sort of working. <laughs> this is a long level though, like, how much time is it supposed to take? A minute and a half. I've taken over, I've taken almost six minutes now. There's so much vegetation to burn, oh my god. Oops. Uh, well, I wasted that one. <laughs> Go past me. I don't know what their, like, visual range is. It looks like it's bigger than I'm expecting. Oh no! Ah! Oh dear. Uh, that's not good. Ah! Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, right. I forgot that the dry grass made noises. Uh, auto save. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. Apparently if I just duck here, they have trouble seeing me, which is kind of weird. Uh... I got some stuff, I guess? I don't really understand how the pickpocketing works. I seem to be getting some, like, maybe references to people who were kickstarting this game? I don't know. Well, I made it through the level anyway. I didn't do it very well. <laughs> oh, look at all those objectives I didn't achieve. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, so I'm good. New elemental power available. All oh, right, fire jump. Give me the fire jump. Fire jump. Double jump while holding a fireball to consume it and rock it upwards. Nice. I assume there'll be other elements as well, we just haven't seen them yet. We've only had fire so far, but the way it's going, it looks like there'll be other stuff. 
Okay, so the fire jump, you just go... Ugh, I'm doing it wrong. What do you do? You, you jump, jump again. Okay, there we go. And it sets you on fire, so you gotta watch out for that. Uh, and then you accidentally do that. <sighs> Restart. <laughs> okay, grab, jump, jump. Okay. Uh, jump, jump. Okay. 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 <laughs> Remember when we hunted with sp springtime's return? An egg, chirping swallow, and blossom would earn. A title, some coin, and good luck for all year, but only for they who first made them appear. A certain young one set a marvellous pace, and travelled too far to succeed in the race. She harnessed her fire and directed it down, repelling her haste as she fled back to town. Each tingling vault on the homeward bound road was warmer and warning her not to explode. If holding hot things to move faster ahead, consider that prizes aren't used to the dead. Yeah, you got a point. This small clearing and stream looks like a temporary refuge, but you sense a familiar presence just ahead. Investigate the area, quickly and with caution. Okay, what do we got? Carry Ezra to the exit. Oh, Ezra's here. Okay. Help! Is someone up there? Hello? Oh, I can pan the camera. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I think I broke my ankle. Can you help me get out of here? Yeah, sure. Carry. Carry Ezra to the exit. Do, 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 do. Hmm, I don't know if we can make that jump. Oh, I have an idea. Toss me. Ow! <laughs> I'm I'm okay. Oh, if you sure. Oh, and then I can make the jump by myself. Ooh. Okay, yeah, and then I can climb up here. Uh, slide my way into here. What's this say? Lieutenant, Lieutenant Galia, forget about your escaped villager. They won't last long out there. Make haste and erect whatever barricades you can to prevent that witch from pursuing us, then proceed to the rendezvous point. I'll expect your troops in fighting form when they arrive. My squad has its hands while keeping our cargo restrained. Captain Kyra. Okay, let's go. You can't sprint while carrying something heavy. We're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Drop me in the grass and I'll hide with you. Okay. So I need to drop like this. I'm in. I see where you feel so sneaky. I'm just gonna leave you there for the moment because I want to go back and do this. Fire upgrade point earned. Can I use it yet? Well, I could spend it on one of these, but uh, upgrade. Oh, okay. To get the smoke bomb, I need to. Stay hidden, stay hidden. Well, I got another Kickstarter locket. I don't really know what that is, but I, I got it. Uh, I can see something collectible there, which I might want. Let's see if I can get to it safely. New Meteor Shard, Silent Ignition. Igniting up with a fireball and it creates an audio disturbance. Yeah, that sounds like an interesting thing. Okay, uh, let's see. Never detected, undetected, no kills, no save reloads. Oh, so close. I got nearly everything. I, I kind of stopped to read things and that counts towards the time. I still did really well though. That's probably my best level so far. This seems like a good place as any to rest. I heard the guards talking when they had me restrained. Is it true what they're saying? That you're, uh, that you have powers? Well, I don't care. Whatever it takes to rescue the others. After the explosion in the village, the soldiers all fled in different directions. They're scattered and lost. Haha. <laughs> I saw some of them hurting poor little Bri Brianne away as they were taking me. They were headed to a basin just up ahead to meet someone named Captain Kyra. Other guards were talking about something called a palace and someone called the Archduchess. She sounds like the one in charge. I thought you had to be a village elder to be in charge of something. 
I guess the Archduchess must be really old and have a really big village. Wow, did you do that? Look, my ankle. I'm healed. I can walk again. This stone, it feels so calming to touch. It feels like... home? But don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Find the others. And tell Captain Kyra and that Archduchess just to back off. I'm sure a little fire will help. Ha ha ha. Carry village checkpoints to rescue them, yeah. Uh, let me see. Let's equip those and see what they do, I guess. What does this say? A petal came drifting, so careless and free, to gently set down by a patient young tree. Nearby is a place you could linger in sure that life cycles by as you're resting secure. When elements rage, find dark fissures and hide. Be sure no strong feelings escape from inside. Press palms to the rock, cool your skin and appraise. Your actions, your options, your history, your ways. Be better, be stronger than all who have passed. You're special, you're powerful, you're not the last. Your duty will rule you, your spirit will fly. Like petal, you'll know when to rest, when to die. I really like these little rhymes. They're very, very cool. Uh... Dot, 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 dot. New elemental power available? Uh... I mean, I can afford to upgrade my existing powers. Hmm... Do I want more bounces or do I want more jump? Let's upgrade my jump. Okay, uh, that unlocks the smoke bomb, but I don't have any fire points left, so I can't use it yet. Another villager lies ahead. You suspect the enemy has begun using them as bait to draw you out. Free your captive kin and make a break for it, together. Rescue at least one villager. Ah, uh, we got chickens here. Is that helpful? Like, can I use them? Can I glide with them like I did earlier? Optional objective, don't get wet. The answer is yes, I can. New meteor shard, tomb terror. Enemies who see you emerging from a coffin will panic and flee. Okay, I've been detected, which is not good. It's not a great start. <laughs> uh, let's keep going and see how we do. Oh gosh. Don't get wet, huh? Okay, I guess I can get some help from this chicken here. Okay, there's the guy we gotta rescue. Can I drop down on the bridge? Yes. Help! Get these wooden restraints off me! Oh, I need fire to do that, right? I think I've come the wrong way. Yeah, I've already missed a minute 30. Huh? Oh no! Oh no, I got wet! <laughs> uh, let's restart. Okay, I do think I want to use a chicken, but we might need to plan ahead a little better. Let's see. As you can see, they're walking this way. Maybe I can jump when they're facing the other way, and then they won't spot me. Maybe. Yeah. New Meteor Shard. Low profile. Crouching makes it harder for enemies to visually detect you. Interesting. Okay, then we're gonna go this way. Okay, we've got the shard already and we're still undetected. So we're doing fine. 
Up, 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 up. Get to the checkpoint. Okay, we don't want to drop down here because that doesn't work. Let's try going this way. Is there an enemy over here? No. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, look like there's only one fire to work with. Oh, they can see me? Oh. Can they see me? Oh, oh, I see. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> okay, come here, chicken. I need your help. So yeah, we want to wait until they're not looking. Chuck the chicken over there. Uh, wait for them to walk past. And we can run up behind them, flip that switch. Also pick that pocket. Oh, they flipped it back. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> ah, got wet. Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just we'll just go from there. Okay, here's the checkpoint. So that's where we need to get our friend to. How do we get him over there? Hmm. Can I get him to just follow me through here? Because that would be really helpful. <laughs> follow. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Crawl through the gap. Hmm. Evidently, I'm missing something here. This Kickstarter look—it's a weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, seriously, this fat does full damage? Ugh, dang it. Didn't before. Hmm. Oh, they cut the grass. I guess that makes sense. <sighs> hmm. This is a difficult game. It is much harder than Mark of the Ninja. Huh? Which is also a good game, but much easier. <laughs> much, much easier than this. I did think that wouldn't have, would avoid full damage, but apparently it doesn't. <laughs> uh, and now they're attacking my friends. The friends have. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, okay, this is hard. <laughs> this is a difficult game. Okay, step one. We grab a little chicken. Uh, hmm. We really want to get that one off the platform if we can. If we can get them to be somewhere else other than that area, we can grab the villager out. And hopefully do something from that point. Uh, let's see. First we'll grab the shard, because why not? Cloud of visage. Yeah, that's good. Uh then we go down here. And we can platform our way over here. Uh, dang it. Well, I got wet. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> oh gosh, this is hard. Okay, uh, then we can grab some fire. I think causing a panic is probably a helpful thing to do in this situation. Because uh, then we can po possibly scare the, the lower person away from their location and make that area more accessible to uh, for our needs. So we'll follow this person. Follow, follow, follow. And we'll drop onto the bridge, like this. Yeah, then they run. Grab some more fire, because we need it. <sighs> it's still too far. Mm. Oh, I still have fire. Okay. I don't really get why how it decides if you keep the fire or not. It's a little confusing. Okay. Uh, I can chuck you over there. Then I can jump over there as well. Okay. We can go this way. Okay, that chicken should make them know. Hmm. Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> this game is hard. <laughs> I was hoping the chicken would create a diversion, but that didn't happen. Okay, okay, you're gonna turn and look the other way. Oh no! Yeah, I figure I'd get detected at some point, but... Uh, still got the friend, so let's go. 
Oh, <sighs> gushies. Okay, villager rescued. Objective complete. Okay. Oh my goodness. This game is hard. <laughs> One spirit point for getting the villager back. No kills, no save reloads. So I got a couple of spirit points. Oh, okay, we're coming up to an hour. Elsewhere, load complete. Reunite with your human. Oh my gosh, am I... Am I playing? Oh my gosh, I'm playing as the little doggy. <laughs> yes. Okay, I can just run up walls. Growl to spook unaware enemies who will panic and flee instead of attack. Oh wow. Defend yourself from enemies by attacking with your claws. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, little puppy. Yeah, you can just run up all the walls in the game. Oh my goodness. Let's go, little puppy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kind of weird you have to growl so many times for it to work. Instead of just like once or twice. Okay, I can't get up there, right? Because of the overhang? Yeah. <laughs> Time to go! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I can kill them. Was I supposed to do that? Maybe. Oh, there's no objectives for this area, so I can do whatever I want. Oh no! Oh no! Finally, that feral animal will stop hunting us. Tell Captain Kyra we're shipping him off to the bobcat pits for re-education. Oh, I'm a cat. We'll learn to obey us yet. Oh no! That's so sad. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I'm probably done for this video. Uh, it's, it's about an hour. I've got a good sense of what the game's like. I really like it. It's super hard though. Oh, look at all these different objectives. Oh gosh. Speed run target undetected. No saves. Upgrade. Statue. Upgrade statue meteor shard. Oh, look at all the things you've got to do. So many. I missed the upgrade statue in that one. Anyway, yeah, I love this game. Uh, I am really glad I picked it up. It's super cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the other abilities are, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. Uh, we've got the other, um, like, elements. I'm assuming you'll get maybe, maybe water and, I don't know, earth? Earth and air? Pro probably, but, I mean, the thing about air and earth is that they're everywhere, so it might not be good choices for elements that you need to grab from the environment. So, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. <sighs> However, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. Um, it's super fun. 
Actually, one hit kills doesn't really make it harder because you don't want to get hit in the first place. I guess that's more of a convenience thing if you want to play it like, you know, a more stealthy game without any combat aspects. You can turn off fall damage, which is nice. Hmm. Advanced enemy patrol sounds real hard. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, I might just switch on the colorblind mode for a second just to see how things look. Uh, look, I'm going to level I've already played so we don't spoil anything. Uh, I assume it changes the color of the grass a bit or something? Hmm, it looks the same, but maybe... no? Hmm, I'm not sure what the difference is. Oh! Oh, the enemies are, are purple! Instead of red, because they don't look the same color as the grass, I get it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's actually, yeah, that's really clever. So yeah, green things like grass are still green, and then you've got red things, which are the enemies, and now they're purple. Huh. That's a really simple way to work around the colorblindness issue. I, I like it. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I like this game. Uh, it's good. It's a good game. Um, uh, I think it's fun. Uh, I turned the map. And I would recommend you play it. Um, if you like stealth games, because obviously it's a stealth game. Uh, you're need, gonna need to enjoy a stealth game if you're playing a stealth game. I wonder what the accessibility mode looks like for playing with one hand. I'm curious to see how this works. Okay, L to replay. Except changed L A to L. Oh, okay. So I'm just using my left hand right now. You can sprint like this. You can jump like this. And you can hold the button while not moving in order to target stuff. Um. Oh, and, and you click the left stick to whistle. Okay. Uh, I think that works. I mean, I'm not... I, I, I have two hands. I'm not like an expert on how games work when you have one hand and that you can use, but... Uh, I think that's a pretty decent way of doing things. I wonder if you could do co-op mode by using the two halves of the controller like this. That would be interesting. Probably uncomfortable, but interesting. Um, yeah, okay, so... That looks pretty decent. Oh, and there's no button to drop. Okay, I, I guess that's not super important, because you can just throw, but... Takes a little getting used to. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's that's decent. I think just having the option to remap controls entirely would have been as good and probably easier to understand, but, you know, explicitly having a one-handed mode is, is cool. Um, kind of weird that you can't just map all the buttons wherever you want. Um, because, you know, that would have worked. Um, your markers, extra particle effects. Lots of different options here. Character outlines, cartoon outlines, stealth outlines. <sighs> uh, thermometers, yep. Uh, enemy awareness symbols, yep. I guess if you want to make it harder, you can turn off things like that, and then you won't know what the enemies are doing. So yeah, uh, that's this game. Uh, so yeah, you restart the level if you don't co-op, so that, that's fair, I think. Because the levels are pretty short, and you're expected to have like a certain plan. If switching co-op on and off mid-level didn't reset it, that would be weird. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure how long the levels would be, but yeah, that they're pretty straightforward. I mean, not really straightforward, but it's not very long, is my point. Uh, you're trying to do like one thing very precisely, so restarting the level when you change to co-op mode is pretty fair. If it had been like, you know, several dozen separate rooms you had to get through for each level and having to restart, having to restart when you went into co-op would suck, but the way it is, it's probably fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's Wildfire. Um, a really cool 2D stealth platformer game. Uh, it feels kind of like Mark of the Ninja, kind of like Oddworld. Um, it's a lot more difficult than Mark of the Ninja. It's a lot closer to Oddworld in terms of the challenge involved, I think. 
Uh, and it looks like there's a decent amount of replay value because there's a lot of stuff you can miss in each level, different strategies you can take. Plus if you go back to earlier levels with new abilities, you might have new ways of doing things since you're expanding your arsenal as you progress. Um, so yeah, this game looks real great and I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, so check out Wildfire if you like this kind of game. Bye! Hehehehe <laughs>